Hello, YouTube, it's Sacred Cup, and we are back for some more Yakuza Like a Dragon. How are y'all doing? Happy freaking Friday, or whatever day that it is for you. We're gonna start off, we're gonna continue right where we left off. Uh, Nanba has run for his life because he's got one of the gangs going after him. So we gotta meet with the, um, I assume it's the like the big boss. I, I, I don't know. We're just supposed to go meet some dude and he's gonna decide? I have no idea. So, let's go ahead. Let's get this going. Because it doesn't feel right to not have the full party again. So we gotta do this. But I do need to see about getting some, some meds. Some extra stuff. Anyway. I hope everybody had a good frickin' 4th of July. Everybody had a good safe. No one lost any digits. No one lost any digits or an eye or... Anything like that. In my, in my old, old neighborhood... Some of the neighbors would actually shoot off their guns. Which was freaking stupid, even... Yeah, they, they, everybody knew it was stupid, but people still did it anyway. Mind you, a lot of people were drunk. So, yeah, not surprising. Do I have that cab? I don't know if I have that cab. And, uh, I found more than one. Two, just, I only found two. But I did find two freaking, uh, bullet holes near my old property, near my old childhood home before. It was, uh... It was, uh... Yeah. It was scary. Considering that they came from above. Nope. I took... I, I, in fact, I'm pretty certain I told you I wasn't working. Where was that Tropic? No? I don't remember. Anyway, no, I'm not working today. I know I told somebody yesterday. I know I told somebody yesterday, but it's fine. Ooh, hello. I'll take that. Ooh, what are you? Hello there. Hello there, baby man. Either way, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I got hey guys! I got started late today anyway. I was planning on starting around one. But I laid down to take a nap after having breakfast and then woke up two hours later. I didn't get anything done today. Oh, where the hell am I, by the way? I just love that, by the way. It just that really freaking it annoys me, but at the same time, apparently I freaking needed it. So okay, but yeah, I lay down. Because I was getting a little, I got a little tired after breakfast, and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm, I have a day off. I might as well just, if, I, if I'm if i tired, I might as well just lay down. So I did. And I woke up two hours later. Right, I need to go, I want to go over here. Where do we need to go, though? We need to go over there. Let's check out these dudes. 35 day streak. Sonny's a streaking. Oh, these dudes are high level. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Let's go. Get alive. Alright, I gotta try. I gotta use her ability. I gotta try to charm some of these people. Oh, 
That dude's in my way. That dude's in my way. Going in. Come here. Here we go. Okay. Come on now. You're in it now. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Cool. Just having that one dude incapacitated was helpful. Hello, Tropic. Five days streaking. Also, thank you for Lizzie for the shout out. We're almost there. As long as they ignore us, we'll be fine. Oh, okay. So that is one of these things. Okay. Man in a pickle. Time to clean up. Fight the lone dude, thank you. When they're in a group, I mean, yeah, when they're in a group, it's dangerous, but a solo, just a solo dude, nah. Bye, dude. Now I can get this little, whatever the hell this was. Hmm? Okay. Oh, hi. What do you got? Irashaimase. Nothing carrot seedlings. I don't have any carrots. Hmm. 
Mysterious Seed. Mysterious Bulb. Mysterious Compost. Okay, no. Oh. Liquid Nitrogen Spray. Okay. I do need some of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna buy like four. Yeah, I'll buy four. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, helps you sober up from being drunk. Okay, so this is MP meds. Ouch. Ouch. That's expensive. Ow, oh, my. I don't know why the hell that was. Like something pulled like an eyelash out or something. Ow. Ugh. All right, I'm going to get... I'm going to get some of this. Just so I have it. Yeah, that fight Audio with, uh, like, that fight with that one guy, that took everything. Uh, do I have the confidence for this yet? Mm -hmm. I was just curious. Uh, feeling the shady and it gives me the creeps if only it was more assertive confidence level four all right all right so not yet confidence level i think that's one of the ones that must be at three then Yeah. I wonder if there, there's got to be a better or if, uh, an easier way to actually start working on those. There has to be. Where am I? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Go to the school and take confidence. Take a confidence exam. Where the hell is the school? I didn't even know there was a school. <laughs> Street dandy. He's a street dandy. Head turning out, baby. Hmm. 
The place you raided to save that one girl's dad. No. Not that I can remember. Do that one then. That's a. Well, I guess I wouldn't be. I thought that was a government building. see an entrance on this damn thing oh you're talking about her sister are you talking about her sister I'll be fine. okay that became a university dude they level up did these guys level up? Cause uh, I don't remember them being level twenty. Let's go. know about this. You want to go? I'm ready now. Cool. I'm up! Shiny. Just walk past it. It's a pharmacy. Here's the park. see east of the station which the station's right here and uh on the corner of uh, Daikoku Ten Breakwater with that. Yeah. That's carriage, though. I don't know what...
the blue square. It's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Right now, I need to... Right now, I need to get over here. Maybe, maybe. I know. I've been trying to get over here. Not only is this where we need to go, but we there's a healing station here. This is no place for a proper lady, you know. Chief. We're having a number, Jiban. Excuse me. Well, he got himself into some trouble. We would like to take a look at his stuff. You're just going to dig through your friend's stuff without his permission? It's our only hope of saving him. Don't get us wrong. <laughs> I see. I won't stop you then. We'll leave as soon as we're done. Man, kind of nostalgic coming back here. Here it is. Mm. Ugh, what is that smell? Some combination of sweat and mold. Okay. Yeah, it reeks in here. Anything that might help us find where he is? Hey. Hey, what about in there? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, a computer? Okay. A laptop? Not exactly a common homeless commodity. <laughs> I'd say that's right on the money. Really? How do you use this thing? What are you typing? I'm doing some searches that'll comb through this whole hard drive. Hmm? Searches? Yeah. If the search gets a hit, we'll check out that file. Hmm. Uh, uh, a hit? Hey! Just shut up and watch, would you? I'm not much of a computer guy myself. Let's let her handle this one. Sacha, you know computers and stuff? Well, I did my club's book, so I learned enough. Am I finally earning some respect around here? Absolutely. Please be our sage in this faded hour. Hmm? Hmm, this one's suspicious. Ijinjo Incident Draft Version 2. Yeah. Let's see what it, what's in this one. Hey, you know how to use computers too? Well... I clearly know more than you. <sighs> you traitor. With this, an article he was writing for a magazine says it was written by Soichi mm. Akiba. Soichi Akiba? That's Namba's brother. Yeah. Uh. Mysterious fake money emerges in Injincho. The truth behind the rumors. Where are the counterfeit bills? The truth behind the rumors. Yo, check it out. It says the rumors about the fake money started over 50 years ago. He really did his homework on all this old documents. Nanma's brother is pretty good. Hey, yeah. Hey, is this true? It says the fake money can be traced to the chair of the Citizens Liberty Party, Liberal Party. 
That would be... Okay, Kubo, right? He's at the top of the political party. Well, Yokohama is Okipu's district, but it doesn't seem likely that he would go all the way up to him. CLP party chair. Counterfeit money ended up in party veteran Okipu's pocket. Are you talking about Okihubo? What's his deal? Okay. He's almost 80 years old, making him the oldest member of the CLP. Though people say the Prime Minister himself is just Okihubo's yes man. He's got major political clout. Sounds like some kind of fixer. Hmm. Sounds shady as hell to me. Actually, He's never been dragged into anything scandalous over his years, unlike most of the most of the big politicians. It's probably how he's stuck around so long, to be honest. But theoretically, the fake money is going to Okay Kubo. Does that mean he's linked to the Goy Majul? In the pur in that purple haired harpy? She really does not like her. But that case, <clears throat> but in that case, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't just be the Goibi Jewel. Zhao from the Luimang. He's the one providing the paper, right? But skimming this article, I don't think there's much of a smoking gun in here. So all this business about Okikubo being involved is just unsustained, unsustainable rumors. Okay. True. Even if the article went out, it'd just be li libelous. And people would probably write it off as being gossip or tabloid nonsense. But as for us, we actually know the fake money exists. Right. Which means we have to assume there's some kernel of truth in this article. But even with them being said, isn't it kind of of a stretch to connect Okikubo? To the counterfeiting? I see. Hmm. Something just made sense. And if it made sense to Kasuga, it's pretty obvious. What did? Namba knew about his brother's article from the start of this whole thing. Well, yeah. So when he saw the m misprinted fake bill that I had on me, he played dumb. But I must have made him jumpy. No doubt. It's probably when he realized his brother's story had some truth to it after all. And it was also probably his first sign of hope in a long time. That's gotta be why he latched onto onto me like he did. Damn. Damn it. I wish he I wish I would have noticed sooner. You didn't do anything wrong. So the Gomichu boss still has your bill. Yeah, I'll have to get that back from her next time we meet. You think she'll just hand it back to you? Let's focus, guys. The only thing we've learned here is Ogikubo's name. <sighs> There's nothing here that would give us any hints about where Nanba went. We're meeting up with her with her at 2 a.m., right? Yep. Yeah. We should probably start heading to Hayen Tower. You think the person she wants us to meet is Okikubo himself? Politician? No way. But this is the other reason I came over here. Because this had a healing spot. Ah, everybody's fully healed. Right, so now we gotta go... Oh my god, we gotta go all the way up there. Hey, we'll be passing it. Perfect. And I guess while I'm on the way, is there any... Right, I got two. I wish I could set multiples. <laughs> Hold on, I have to. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but I have to. I'm right here. I gotta get a perfect on S-Ray. Time to place a Pac-Man. Oh, I'd only have A on easy? Hold on, we gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. Here comes the can man. That's money. the mark uh, answer right baby I know I know I was really close just under two Whoa. under two seconds but it still worked Alright, now we need to get 700 cans.
Time to get paid. Ah, I missed him. Okay, you can't run into that dude. Okay. He's there to follow him. That's money. Oh, you mother trucker. Yeah, he ran into my butt. He ran into my butt. Still That's got it, though. Mark. Still got it, though. What a haul! Nice. Very nice. That should get me into the next little bracket. Yep, next rank. Ooh, a walking bonus. Thanks, Kansan. Just keep snagging and spinning. Counting on ya. Is that it? Yeah, Shinri. Kaimonoka. You could turn you could turn in points for money. Okay. Need more slot cars, right? Half eaten bento. A worn out TV. The hell do you do with it? And why can I have 500 of them? Well, yeah, but I think, uh, I don't know. I didn't actually look at the shop. Worn out microwave, a moth, a butter, okay. 80,000 points. 100,000 points. Oh, hey, I can get I can get music. Cost a lot. I can get the soundtrack. Persona Five. Hades token, Dark Lord, what? I can only get one of them, can't get both of them. I love the connections between freaking Yakuza and Persona. I love the fact that they the, the two games reference each other all the goddamn time. They don't play they don't take place in the same world, but they recognize each other. I find it funny. My style went up. Uh, 
Oh, what else did he have? Yeah, is there is that it? No more no like hidden hidden thing? No. Should I change jobs? Where is everybody's job level right now? Eleven, ten, and ten. I would probably change jobs. We're right here. Speaking of Persona, hello, Makoto. Can I help you? <laughs> I can do host now. I can do host now. I can do foreman now, too. And it was Foreman. There was another one that I can't remember, but I know Foreman was one of them. What do you think? Oh, dude, he could do freaking host, musician, breaker, bodyguard now too. You get up to level five for bond on bond. Level twenty-five, level twenty-five and bond level five. Here you are. What do you think? I haven't. Wait. Here you are. Ex yeah. Big toss. I've got the explosive throw. We got boss hammer, hammer swing, which I really like that hammer swing a lot. That thing's been helpful. There's a lot of damage. I haven't even tried explosive throw yet. We need to get him up to 12 in order to get that one. Take your time. Here you are. That's 24. I, yeah, I'm nowhere near that yet. <laughs> I am nowhere near that. <laughs> Not even half. Holy crud. I don't know. I just wanted to change just so I could get them some other stuff. Take your time. What do you think? 
true grit. Actually, probably won't be. It. I should probably try to get him up to eight, uh, ten Take on Prudent Detective. But I'm just messing around with it right now. What do you think? Yeah, I guess shield bash, sleep grenade would be nice, I think. I just want him to have some new stuff. Oh, but we're about to do a boss fight. Yeah, we are about to do a boss fight. I'll that's, be rooting a, for you. Let's hold off on that. Let's <laughs> let's hold off because we're probably about to fight a, a boss or have a big battle. So let's hold off on that. Let's wait until we're just playing around and exploring the city. Also, isn't there a freaking drink in here for experience? Yep. No shirt Friday. Hello, B. Hmm? No, nothing here. How lame. Ah, uh, wait, what I thought? I could have sworn that was more experience, not money. Right, you know what? I'm gonna buy another one anyway because I used it already. And I'd like to have one just in case. Okay, so let me check. There's another machine. There it is. Hmm? 500 yen. Oh, this just gives me uh, MP drinks. I think I have this taxi, but I'm going to click on it anyway. Uh, what? I, I did not hit pause. By the way, B, did y'all have a right. good Fourth of July? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not backing down. Yeah. Here we go. I'm ready now. Cool. <laughs> and now he's charmed. You're at camp? What what kind of camp? With finesse. Is it just like a little an actual camp camp? Camping in a camper? Hey, I leveled up. Nice. I'm a junior hero now. <laughs> nice job collecting Sujimon. Glad you've been keeping up with your Suji decks. In fact, I'd like to give you a little something as a reward. Stop by the Sujimon Center when you can. It's on the second floor of that building off Sakura Lane. <laughs> conveniently marked 
by a Sujimon icon on your map. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, what? We gonna fight some more? Uh. Hello? That guy was the worst. All ugly and dirty. What even was that? I just want to go home and be with all my cute stuff animal friends. What I wouldn't give for a com what I wouldn't give to complete my kitty cat collection. Looks like she's about ready to quit. If I cheer her up, she'll come work for me. Clue where I get a kitty cat thing anyway. <laughs> well, that's good. At least, at least it's good. At least you're having fun over there. There's a there's a marker. There's a marker over there. Let's check it out real quick. Hey, Yumiko-san. Isn't it time you moved on to something more appropriate for your age? I I really don't know what you're suggesting, Shiho-chan. They're ganging up on that dominatrix lady. Oh no, not another mm. one. Fifty shades of play. Don't you mm. think you're past your prime? Wow. Nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I, I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just. Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> My advice. Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> but really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? You could break a hip in those heels. No. I take pride in what I Bye do. Bye, I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? <sighs> What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? <gasps> All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. <laughs> oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. What? What? Ew, what is what? with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. Ouch. Ouch. Sheesh. You all right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. 
That should have totally been the title for this sub story. Damn it, I actually want to see what's going on there. It's our second dam domin well third. It's our third dominatrix in this damn we game series. At least what I remember. Dude, dude, you're dude, you're in you're in the way, dude. You're in the way. I'm trying to get oh knew it. Alright, there we go. I don't know if it's this one, but I... It's probably not. But then there's that one. Let me, let me check. Let me check. It's right here. It's probably the other one that wants a freaking red cat. No, nope, there she is. Well, that was rather tame. I couldn't feel a scratch, and somehow, that scares me. Uh, the, the fault lies completely with us, sir. Please accept this session on the house. I, I, I don't know what to say. I just, I just wasn't enough for him. Don't worry. Not even the toughest mistress in town could make him feel anything again. No one can. Mm. Oh, that's so sad. Hey. That guy is some kind of celebrity or something? Well, you could say he is in our world. We've come to call him Mr. Masochist. Hmm? Mr. Masochist? That's right. He roams the streets, looking for agony and... A basement of the lowest caliber, but lately he's been in a funk, saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. What happened to that poor guy? And now he's got every kink club in town bending over backwards trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? <laughs> well, think about it. Wouldn't you want to be known as the only establishment who can break the unbreakable? The kind of buzz would be priceless. Oh, ah, that's kind of smart, actually. Everyone in the business is going after him. Rinky kink, fetch a fetish, bloody gauntlet, the doom dome. But he just walks out. That man was stiff as a board. But not in the way he needed to be. Guess that's one way to put it. It's his skin. Hmm? Say what? His skin ha was concrete. His skin was concrete hard. No matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for that matter, he wouldn't even flinch. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Don't be so down on yourself. Why don't we do some training so that next time he comes around, you could make him feel alive again? Hi. Yeah, you're right. Well, time to work on our customer service, so to speak. Talk to you later. Y yeah. <sighs> so we got mis a Mr. Masochist running around town. Why does this not surprise me? You dare talk back to me, pig? <laughs> Squee, forgive me. I gotta be careful. I don't want to give Mex any more ammunition. <laughs> oh my. Should I open it? Sweet! Okay. Who are you? Hey. Are you a company president? Looking for a way to turn your money into more money? I caught you at the right time. I've got an investment idea that'll net you big returns. Here it is.
You'd be glad you trusted me. A new investment proposal. I'll review this and make a decision back at the office. That I'm seems fishy. Cat. That seems fishy. Yo, if it isn't Awano. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Nice to see you again. So this is oh. the Kasuga-san that helped you. That's right. The very same. The naked I guy. I wanted to say thank you. My grandmother's alive and well and out of the hospital. Hey, good to hear. I heard about how far you were willing to go for this silly boy. Sorry for all the trouble. Yes, please worry, tell me sorry because he was a freaking annoying pain in the butt. You. <laughs> my, I didn't know gentlemen like you still existed. Here's my thanks for taking care of my grandson. Oh, okay. You sure? Thank you very much. So where are you off to now? She gave us some hmm? makeup. Oh, well, Why? I'll take my grandma somewhere special to celebrate her recovery. Where would you like to go, grandma? Let's see. A hot spring would be lovely. A hot spring? Yeah, I could go for a bath. Well, we should get going. Take uh -huh. care, Kasuga-san. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Thank you very much. Sure get out of here, you Take weirdo. Care of your grandma. Of course. Sheesh. Didn't know bathing could run in the family. Bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. Hmm, I wonder where the dominatrix went. Maybe we'll find we'll find her later. Maybe when it's daytime. A big hammer. Uh -huh. Get a lot. Check this out. Here we go. Come up. You're going to be in a world of hurt. You're done for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
right. Dude, he is taking a beating. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. I'm ready now. I'm up. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Cool. The prime evils can never be divided. And as my Except by one and evil. You're gonna be in a world. How are you doing, sir? Happy vacay. Right. I'm not backing down. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah. Got help. Yeah. I'm up. Yeah. Uh. Good fight. That was a beat down. With finesse. Uh, all right. Now we'll head here. Take a look at this school. What's up? I can't seem to remember the title of this movie I saw a few years back. It was one of those real emotional rides and i remember wanting to see it again it was a a boy meets girl movie your uh or was it my well, my pancreas wants to scream something like that no. what the hell are you talking about does the hero have a stomach ache or something maybe it was about a guy who wanted to quit drinking nah it was all about being young what a nice time that is well i'll let you know if i ever spot it oh was it yo my stomach's gonna blow maybe it's not about a stomach ache. I don't think he's gonna remember. I'm ready to kick ass. Right, now that the story is done, let's do the beatdown. Right. I got this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. So don't, don't see what? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> this sucks. You're gonna get stomped. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Get I got this. Check this out. <clears throat> Let's do this together. I'm ready. I'm not going down. I'm up. Yeah, the little party banner is really nice. I like it. I like it.
Uh, we do have a blue. Ooh, blue right here. Want to check this out. We're working our way slowly but surely. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's get this fight going. Here we go. You're in it now. Take your best shot. You're gonna get stumped. Get alive. Come on now. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's go! Let's go! Gotcha! Gotcha! We're in it now! Right. You wanna go? I gotta help. Also, hold on. Ah, oh, we need three more cats. Five more coppers. Problem is, I'm trying to remember where we are with the Kappas at this point. Because I know I got the one that was over here. There is two more to the north. Some reason though that one doesn't seem to be showing. <clears throat> or maybe it is, but we get a bunch of photos of it. So that's one. I know where you are. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So that is technically five right there. I don't know which one this is, though. I think this was the one. Yeah, I think this is the one that was over in the top west. Northwest.
So if this is correct, then we have these five. Which that was the first one we saw. This is the sec this is the one that's by the house. That's on the northwest. This one was over by the station, and this one was over here. Okay. All right. I, unfortunately, need to take a short little break. I need to go get some more to drink. And, uh, yeah, when I come back, we'll continue this game. But for now, let me go ahead and start the music. Oh, wait. I got to change music because I have it set for, uh... Oh, I got to change it. Oh, goody. Pretzel freaking froze on me again. Why do you always do this? Why, Pretzel? Why? Feel right. That one doesn't, doesn't feel right. All right, there you go. All right, so yeah, give me a couple minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We got a costume redeem. So let's go switch on over here. We're gonna bring up the wheel and spin. Ooh. It's basically the same thing, but all right, fine. Fine. Yeah, it seems like Dalinar wants me to keep my shirt off today. Dalinar wants to keep my shirt off today. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go ahead and stop the music. Yeah. Uh, back. Me. All right, so I was gonna come over here. Oh, it's the kid. The kid. Let's hang out. Let's hang out with the kid. Mm. Now, what should I get today? No, I didn't beat it. No, I didn't beat it. No, oh, Nobu is here. Looks like he hasn't eaten. Maybe we should. Maybe now. Wait, a good time. Something, something, something. No, I didn't beat it. I finally freaking unlocked the tier three keypad or key cracker or whatever you want to call it. And hey. it. And it looks like we're about to release all of the freaking entities from storage. Oh, Kaskasan came back, which doesn't sound like a horrible idea at all. I sure did. So you hungry? You bet. Yeah, because we can't get past the security system, so we have to, of course, reset it. Oh, man, I'm stuffed. <laughs> Yeah, you eat like a dinosaur, Nobaru. <laughs> oh yeah, then you eat like a, a, a mutant dinosaur. My way. How old are you, kid? I'm nine, but ten's just around the corner. Oh, so you got yourself a birthday coming up. What did you ask your mom for? Huh? Aren't 
kids supposed to get presents on their birthday? I mean, not that I ever did. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're... Were you some kind of troublemaker? I kind of... I could kind of see that. No way. Hey, I wasn't that bad. Okay, maybe I was, but that wasn't the reason at all. <clears throat> I just didn't have any parents to give me anything. Really? Really? And to top it off, my birthday is on New Year. My birthday's on New Year's, so I never got New Year's presents either. A double dose of tragedy every year. <laughs> oh, then maybe I should stop feeling sorry for myself. Ah, no, I wasn't trying to say that. I was just... Anyway, you could have a single present. Anything you wanted. What would that be? Mm. Oh, that's easy. It'd be the red baseball glove at... Taniyama's Sporting Goods. It's modeled after Sotoyama's. It's modeled after Sotoyama's, you know. From the Major Leagues. And that's why it's so popular and rare. I try not to ask my mom for much, but I really, really want this. So I told her about the glove. But I bet she just forgot. <laughs> nah, I don't say that. I'm sure she's got a lot going on. But maybe she'll... Pull through for you. Have a little faith. Uh, okay. I'll try. Thanks, mister. Well, it's getting to be that time. About when kids your age should be going home, doing their homework. Yeah, you're right. I guess time flies when you're having fun. See you later, Kasuka-san. Later. Let me guess. We're going to go buy it. Hmm. So, nobody wants a baseball glove from... Taniyama's Sporting Goods. Hope his mom really does remember. You know, I don't have a clue where that is. No clue. <sighs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I do want to play it again. That's kind of why I'm thinking of... Oh, hold on, I'm gonna put this on. Kind of why I'm thinking of playing it on Sunday, but if I do, I want to play some Stardew as well. But we'll see. I got a bunch of stuff to plant, so... I'll be here again. Yeah, just a ti ti tiny bit, mm, yeah, mm. Uh, Excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh, shit. It's English. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll make something un... 
Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. Oh, all right. Thank you. Ah, welcome! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Barra Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! Fifty? For real? That's crazy! I have, like... None. <laughs> You gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable For skills, real? I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. <laughs> Great! Then let's uh, get you signed up right away! Uh, okay. <laughs> so it feels like a scam. Huh. It feels like a total so this scam. Is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> yeah. So that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow. Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing. It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time. So don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, <laughs> our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Own right. Mara, knowledge right. is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, uh, I think I got the gist of it. Right? I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. 
This facility is all about developing developing one's personality. Passing exams will improve different facets of Kasuga's personality. After the free trial exam, you'll have to pay the exam Which fee. Which exam would you like to take? Passion and Charisma. This one? I, I, it's the only one I could take. Good luck. Uh, what is the name of the track and field event in which athletes push a, ball, a metal ball as far as in the air as they possibly can? A triathlon is completed by consecutively overcoming three different events while competing for the fastest overall time. Which of the following events is not part of a triathlon? Soccer is a team sport in which competing teams aim to score points by kicking the ball into the opposing team's goal. With the exception of the goalie, touching the ball with one's hands are, is considered a foul. What is this particular foul called? Uh, handling? I don't know. Basketball is a team sport where competing teams aim to score points by shooting the ball into the opposing team's oop. The amount of points is determined... Uh, let's see. What is the maximum amount of points a player can score from one shot, excluding additional uh, penalty shots? Three? Uh, ma marathon is a track and field event that requires running a distance of 42 kilometers. Which of the following is the is the event that became the origin of this distance? <sighs> Freaking I don't know. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> You're uh, the man! You're the man! I guess I passed. See, my passion's almost up to five. Charisma's almost up to four. I got them all? Oh, hell yeah. Sports helmet. The fact that it's timed is a stress. The time, the fact that it is timed is stressful. I mean, this one we can put up, we can chalk up to freaking Kraken. <laughs> we can chalk this one up to Kraken right there. Yeah, this one was a guess. This one was a guess. I knew it was one or two, and I kind of just guessed. I was hoping maybe Lizzie would help me. It would pop up with an answer, but I guess she's not paying attention at the moment. <laughs> I had no clue. I knew it could not be three or four. It was one or two, and two sounded correct. Soccer is a team sport in which competing teams aim to score points by kicking up the ball into the opposing team's goal. With the exception of the goalie, touching the ball with one's hands or arms is considered a foul. What is this particular foul called? I have no clue. I guessed. <laughs> I knew it wasn't pushing. That made no damn sense. Kicking? No, that, no. It was either touching or handling, and touching just doesn't... I mean, for all I knew, it could be touching, but I don't know. Yeah, this one... Yeah, I, I knew that one. That one I knew. I wasn't 100%, but I was pretty sure it was Battle of Marathon. That's why it's called a marathon. 
And then, of course, basketball. And that was kind of uh, obvious. Put ball in. Handball? No. Ball throw? No. Yeah. So I got, I got kind of lucky. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time, but long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just ask this guy. This guy never shuts up, does he? Nope. What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can you see with left confidence right, man. I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Okay. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you've made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Kasuka is now enrolled at Onabata Vocational School. Additional certification exams are now available. Any past exams can be taken as a mock exam for free as many times as you like. Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. No. You? No. Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san, welcome to the start of your future. Fast time. Wow. Okay, vocational school specializes in improving personality by passing exams and obtaining licenses. Kasuga can significantly improve his personality parameters. You will be required to pay an exam fee for each license. Uh, let's see. Speak to the receptionist at the school if you wish to take license exams. How much are they? Can I help you? We have new certifications available. Wait, I passed tier two. 50 grand. 50, 30 grand. Okay. Sega. What? Sega proficiency exam. This will test your proficiency on the world renowned video game company Sega. Passing this exam will certify you as a Sega professor of sorts. <laughs> Are you serious? Underworld studies? A hundred? Damn. Why is it? Why is tier two the first one and tier one is the second one? Why, why is that? Animal science? Okay. Fashionista. Mm, no. Money it costs, though. Damn. Yeah, so they, uh, 
I need to find out. I I need to find those goddamn kappa. <laughs> I need to find all the goddamn kappa and get two million yen. Hazardous material. Flag master? With your Senbei company? Will it get these certificates? Do you mean get the certificates? Because as far as I know, my personal money can't go with the friggin' rice cracker shop. As far as I know, we can't use personal funds to fund the company. Haven't done enough of it yet? Well, I've only done one. I would have done more, but there wasn't any... What is that? Trivia King Special Tier? You have excessive knowledge. What is what is this even for? Okay, so I guess that just gives me a bunch. As in this difficult exam will certify that you have taken a giant leap forward as a human being. However, even one incorrect answer will render the exam failed. Though I don't even know how much that, how expensive that is. World history. What? I, I get the feeling I'm going to need to do a lot. Like, I'm going to need to just farm for some cash and try to do these things. <sighs> Lord, dude, I can only take like four exams and all my money is gone. Well, four of these big exams anyway. What the frick do we need underworld studies for? Okay, okay. Passing this exam will certify that you have sufficient knowledge on recent crime activity and the antisocial forces of Japan. That's freaking crazy. Yeah, we Come need money. When you're ready. We need money. I no, that's blocked off. All right, hold on. There is a There is a Papa over here. Here we go. 
go. But Airy is kind of good. What is Airy? Who or what is Airy? Was that a test in there that I didn't notice? Take your best shot. Now right, you are freaking charmed. Right. Ready now. Gotta do something about this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Wow. Cool. It's weird. It's when there's a light breeze. Here we go. Oh, okay. I, look, I want to do. I want to do some of those. I don't know if I can. I don't think. I, I don't know how much money I would need to complete the entire damn thing, uh, cause uh, that's a lot of money. But <coughs> two million would help. Two million would help a lot. I'm trying to get, uh, hold on. This one. I'm trying to do this one. Halfway there. I'm trying to get the, the certificates. I was talking about the certificates. I want to get the certificates done. And I do want to do more of the, uh, the, the friggin' restaurant, but I couldn't do any more of the, the company minigame. It wouldn't let me at the time. I probably can. There's a... You're gonna get stuck. Right. I got this. It was chapter seven. We already passed it. From what I understand. Because there was one that was hidden behind a, uh, a story event. And we've already passed that. Which was the kappa that was over here. From what I understand, there is a kappa over here, which is what I'm going for right now.
Mm. Are you a medicine shop? Mm, yes, it is. Full HP and M grand. Eighty grand. I'm gonna buy one of these. Arigato gozaimashita. It must be outside. Yes. Yeah, I got that one that was in Koreatown. One around here. Oh god, she's so cute. She's <laughs> freaking instantly posed I couldn't help myself. Where are you, you damn thing? I think it's very far. These according to the map. Too many people. Further down the road. Why do they all come out looking like this when the regular one is like that? <laughs> so, all the ones that we take of the freaking Kappa that are a f that are the they all come out looking like horrible. All right, so we're down to six now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Right. Now there is another one over here. I wonder if the game is gonna even let me go through here though. I know where there's another one that but it's on the other side of town. Also we need to find a taxi. Okay. Taxi! Come here. Okay, so I think if I haven't touched the taxi, it doesn't even show up on the map. Period. Now that I've touched it, it should show up on my mini map. 
right? Yes. Okay. So if it's on my mini map, I've touched it. It's registered. And no one's gotten friggin' charmed at all so far. Yeah, I found out about the whole waypoint thing a while back. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Nice. I didn't know about that. I thought you just had to be in the area and walk around the area, but no. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, Dex. Also, thank you, X-Fire, for the bits. What was I looking for? Oh, that's right. Skill. I need her to heal herself. Not that again. Not the out of paper again. Right? How many? I think I need four. This is three. This will be th with this one. It'll be three. I know where there's one more, and I'm pretty certain I know where the other two are. Pretty sure I got the one in the red light district. I think I did. Where the 
bathroom. Uh, it's it's still the whole thing of this poor man, this poor person, just runs out of paper. sure is big. All this running around's wearing me out. Wow, so manly, Ichiban. Some real heroic words there. Hey, you can't just say that kind of stuff out loud. What? You can't stereotype stuff into manly or girly like that anymore. People are sensitive to gender discrimination these days. They'll call you right out on it. You know, that sort of thing never really bothered me. But I guess if it's that big a deal, I'll try to choose my words more carefully. Wow, Kasuga. Absolutely pathetic. Just throw in the towel, you loser. How is that any better? Uh-oh. We gotta go to the bar. All right. Well. I knew this is... Hmm. Oh, that's... that's... Hey, you there. Ever thought about entering the wild world of Dragon Cart? Huh? The way? Dragon cart? The hell's that? Dragon cart is the cart racing sensation that's taken this town by storm. You've seen go karts in amusement parks before, yes? Oh, go karts. Yeah, I don't hate them or anything, but I don't really have time to goof off in an amusement park. I'll see you around. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on now. Just a moment. Dragon Kart is quite different from your regular run-of-the-mill go-karts. Yeah? How so? Unlike those peaceful amusement parks, Dragon Kart makes its home right here in the lawless streets of Yokohama. You mean lawless streets? Home? Really? That's right. You can even attack your opponents during the race. Thanks to the various upgrades we have available. It's Mario Kart. So, did you say attack? It's Boy, Mario Kart. did I. Of course, you can be attacked as well. There's a limit to how much damage your cart can take, too. Take too much, and you'll be stopped dead in your tracks and lose out on time. So you need to be extremely careful. Sounds pretty extreme for go-karting. Hence the name Dragon Kart. You can also pick up items on the track to help you along during the race. It's Mario Kart. Use any means necessary to get that checkered flag. <laughs> so, what do you think? I managed to catch your interest? Definitely sounds more fun when you throw in that bit about attacking each other. Keep ahead of the pack with speed, or take down your rivals through brute force. These options are just another part of Dragon Kart's many charms. You'll be started off with a fairly standard cart, but you'll later be able to upgrade it to your liking. Anyway, I think at this point it might be best if you try getting behind the wheel yourself. Why not give it a spin when you get some free time? Dragon cart. Racing around Yokohama does sound pretty fun. Maybe I'll try it out. You know we have to. You know we have to. Hell yeah. Let's give it a go. Please do. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name's Fujisawa. I organize the races here at Dragon Kart. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you, Fujisawa-san. It's nice to meet you. Now, let's get you into a cart. Right on. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> all right. This is a racing game where you speed around the city. 
Press RT to accelerate, A to drift. Drive over an item box to pick up an item. You can hold up to two. B to use. Colliding with a rival's cart or getting struck by an item will lower your cart's durability. When your cart's durability depletes, you will crash and lose time. By collecting dragon rings that are strewn across the course, you can increase your cart's maximum speed as well as recover your cart's durability. Okay. Right trigger, left trigger to back, uh, accelerate and back up. B to use an item, A to drift, X to switch items, Y to change your camera. Okay. Get ready to eat dust! What does this even do? I'm doing it. Okay, it's a rocket launcher. But it doesn't matter. Because I won. I'm having <laughs> Okay, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I will I won't lie. So, how was your first race? Yeah, it's way different than driving a normal car. Definitely a thrill. Fun, too. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I hope you'll consider entering one of the tournaments next time. If you thought that race was exciting, just wait till you see what comes next. And please talk to me should you ever feel like entering. You can ask me for time trials and customization as well. So think of oh, me no. as your one-stop shop. For oh no, we can cart. customize the yeah, cart. Sure oh, oh no. Aren't you what the hell? Was racing earlier? Huh? <laughs> hey, you're right. Nice driving out there. <clears throat> oh, hey, Naoki-san, Ai-san, Hamanoumi-san. Uh, aren't they cold? Aren't they cold? Great job out there. Very nice driving. Think so? I felt like I was barely trying. <laughs> so, you a new driver? Let me introduce you. This is Ichiban Kasuga-san. Today was his first time in a cart. Oh, I see. Then hey, we might end up in a tournament sometime. Just know that if we do, I'll crush you. Oh, hi. <laughs> you better say your prayers. See you later, rookie. But if you value your life, it might be better for you to just watch. You know? Hold up. Huh? I kicked y'all's butt today. 
I gave you all your say, but damn if you don't talk a lot of trash. You guys got me pretty fired up, but you're gonna be eating my dust next race, so be sure to open wide. <laughs> Some talk. You better remember those words. I'll be looking forward to it. Hey, hey now! It's all fine and dandy to get heated, but I won't allow any fighting. If you're gonna have at it, settle it on the track. <laughs> bye bye, Fujisawa san, Ichiban kun. <sighs> so weird. So weird. Oh boy. <laughs> well, <sighs> as you can see, the racers in this town are rather unique. Uh huh. They're strong to boot. Uh huh. They're <laughs> definitely something. So wait. Who all am I going up against exactly? Let's see. First, we have uh, Naoki san, a former Olympic wrestler. He's got power and reflexes. And if you let your guard down, he'll tear both you and your cart in half. Hama Naomi san, a sumo wrestler who holds third seat in the Maigashira rank. His immense power keeps others from following behind him, and he'll run you off course in no time flat. Naoki-san and Hamanoumi-san are known as the dreaded two-headed bomb. Oh, okay. Ai-san, a dealer at a casino, known as the speedster of Hama. She is unrivaled when it comes to straightaways. The Madam Matsuko-san, she puts the majority of her husband's money into her cart. A formidable veteran driver who will obstruct anything and everything that gets near her, be it a cart or a small child. She's also fairly speedy, and together with Ison, she forms one half of a duo known to some as the Rocket Girls. Suguru-san, a public trading company employee, a true intellectual. <laughs> He learns okay. each and every inch of the course through his superb analytical skills, shortcuts and all. Akira-san, leader of the biker gang Agepoyo and conqueror of Ibaraki. He's in the race in hopes of expanding his territory to Kanagawa. His use of motorcycle technique is brilliant, and the graceful beauty of his cornering, combined with the malice and cruelty of his attacks, is truly a sight to behold. The Yakuza Jin-san, a super aggressive racer, it's said the man is the definition of hell on wheels. Together, Suguru-san, Akira-san, and Jean-san are known as the Drift Musketeers, and they are a huge hit with the ladies. Okay, that should cover all the recent entrants. They're all rather formidable opponents, but don't let that intimidate you. Hell of a lineup. If you can win among these racers, then you're a sure competitor for the top racer in the country. Get out there and do your best. I got you. Well, it's not right. slot car Let's racing, but it is go-kart racing. Just let me know whenever you want to race. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, you got it. I'll come by again later. Oh, my lord. A dragon cart, huh? Sounds like it'll be fun. I'll stop by when I have time. Ha, ha, ha. He's sure to be a fun racer to watch. Okay. Okay. Well. More like great fun. Ha <laughs> ha. This popular attraction will soon will have you speeding across around the streets of Yokohama in a thrilling race. Yes, yes, we know. We're sold. We're sold already. All right. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to end the YouTube video for now. We are not ending the stream. We're just ending the YouTube video here. So for those that are watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, click the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button. Now that's both YouTube and I know that you're enjoying the videos that I make and want to see more. Of course, well, come and hang out with us freaking nerd! The link for the stream is down in the description below. Click on that link. Come and hang out.
We love getting new peeps in the chat. Move now. Thanks for watching. And later, YouTube. Bye. Peace.